Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and to a brand new FIFA 21 video and the last one of the day. What a grind today for Team of the Season Serie A, but it was worth it because I love it. After Liga Santander, Serie A is my favorite league to do Team of the Season reviews for. League One has the most uh, meta players, but for fun, usable, and cheap cards, Serie A is the place to be. And as you saw, man, I did a lot of reviews. I believe 10. So please, guys, subscribe. Go check them out and like each of the videos that you do watch. It is greatly appreciated. But today, we're going to be looking at Stefan De Vrij, the highest rated team of the season center back released by EA today. Since I reviewed Christian Romero team of the season, I have to review Stefan De Vrij to see who the better center back is, who is the most. Obviously, De Vrij is a higher rated plus two, but in game is a totally different story. And that's why I wanna check out this De Vrij. He is 6'2", medium high right for the two star skill moves four star weak foot and right off the bat I already see something that he is better at than Romero and it's that four star weak foot he's 108k and it's a little bit cheaper than Romero to be honest probably just because of the 83 pace as opposed to the 85 pace of Cristian Romero but talking about the pace let's look at the in-game stats guys first the 83 pace 84 acceleration 83 sprint speed I am going to be applying a shadow chemistry style so the acceleration can go up to 94 and the sprint speed up to 93 so hopefully Hopefully we don't have any issues there. On to the passing of 80, 83 division, 94 short passing and 92 long passing. He has a big passing boost over Romero for sure, especially with a four star weak foot. So advantage passing to Stefan De Vrij. And now a big difference in my opinion is the agility and balance. While Christian Romero has 85, 86 I believe or 85, 84. Agility wise and balance wise for the bridge is in the 70s, so he might not feel as smooth when you're moving side to side or trying to catch up to somebody as Romero does. So, the advantage for the agility and balance definitely Romero. Reactions are basically the same, so that is good. Ball control advantage the bridge and the biggest thing in my opinion is the composure of 96. The bridge is so much more clutch. Then Romero, I believe Romero has 83 composure, so a plus 13 advantage for Stefan De Vrij. And now on to the defending of 94, guys. 94 interceptions, 95 standing tackle, 96 defensive awareness. I know, I believe Romero has 88, so uh, the 96 defensive awareness is a big plus for De Vrij. And lastly, the physicality of 90, 90 jumping, 93 strength, 95 aggression. Close out this incredible Stefan De Vrij card. And we're going to be seeing if he is the best Serie A center back in the game. Player traits, long passer, and power header. I'm so excited to try Stefan De Vrij on the final review of the day. I am pretty exhausted. So this is the last one. And then, guys, I'll see you back here tomorrow. Definitely going to be uh, doing whatever SBC they release. Or maybe an icon pack. Who knows? what EA have for us in the next couple of days. So far, the content has been incredible from Liga Santander and on, so expect a lot of reviews. So like I said, guys, subscribe to the channel and that'll be enough of that. Let's get on to the gameplay portion of this review. So this is gonna be a voice over review. I wanted to change the tempo up. Of all the reviews I've done today, I needed to take a break. So I played two games and honestly, the bridge is a monster just as advertised. And he is definitely one of the best defenders in the Serie A. And I'm going to go by ranking and tell you at the end of this video who's better, him or Romero. Definitely the big question today. But let's talk about this 92 rated the bridge. The stats, man, they show on the pitch. That's all I have to tell you guys. I know some people prefer Romero because of the pace. But honestly, they are identical. The only thing that the bridge does struggle with is the agility and balance. The agility and balance is good enough for a center back in my opinion. Because right now for me, I am using Prime Beatage. And he has similar stats when it comes to the agility and balance with this 92 the bridge. And I don't really have a problem with it. But it is noticeable, especially now that everybody has the team of the season red picks. And they have the team of the season guaranteed from their packs. So it is a little bit harder to keep up with those players in the bridge. They get beat a couple of times by Ronaldo and I believe team of the season Messi. So that is a little bit worrisome. But that aside from that, guys, this 
is the Dutch wall. They, like I said, the 83 pace was not filled with the shadow chemistry style. The passing was fantastic. And that was in one area that I said that the bridge was better than Romero. And he certainly was, man. I don't remember a time where he did a wrong pass to anybody he got it out of trouble perfectly so gg there what also helps him out is not worrying about the weak foot that's why with the four star weak foot that is really good on two guys the dribbling department the reactions and composures is definitely felt this guy feels more dominant he feels more like more clutch let's say i can if you defend with a player like if you lock on the player and uh you you know how to defend definitely this card is for you because he won't let you down he won't commit mistakes and mistakes are far and from each other so that is really good on to the defending guys and impeccable man the a defensive awareness is the biggest thing i do like on this card he was in the right place at the right time to get interceptions to get standing tackles to get his ai blocking in there as well so that is really good there another big thing that i did like was the sliding tackle it felt like 99 because every time i went to the floor to get the ball he would come up with it so gg there and another thing that i really did like on this was strength and aggression of his the strength and aggression are definitely felt use press circle and uh you'll get it back and once you get it back a lot of times during this review as soon as i want to tackle i got an interception or the ball back for my team from the breaches play it would lead to a goal with lionel messi with eto etc so that is really good there uh side to side movement is good it is not as good as romero romero does beat him in the agility and balance department like i said but on the pitch it definitely does show man romero does feel way faster than that and as long as to the player traits not really relevant and for the corners it doesn't really matter but yeah guys that will conclude the gameplay portion of this review let's go on to the final thoughts and finally answer the question who is better the bridge or cristian romero so you see the pros, you see the cons on the screen, and I gotta tell you, I was really impressed with this Stefan De Vries card, and I really like him, man. He does fit my playing style, my type of center backs are the type of the De Vries, Ferdinand, Bidic, etc., players like that man Otamendi as well I really like I don't really have to have 90 pace because I do know how to defend when it comes to the back especially in foot champs at times when the gameplay can't cooperate with me then it is a big trouble there but you for the most part uh as long as my opponent as long as my center back has 80 pace incredible reactions incredible composure good defending and good physical i'm good with that and that is what this debridge brings to the table but now on to the important question guys i don't have to go over the pros and cons because i already did that during the gameplay portion of the review you see the leo tip there pretty logical thing you would do guys and then the meta rating 8.0 out of 10 and final rating 8.5 out of 10 he is a very solid center back and yeah let's get to the final question who to pick the bridge or romero and obviously guys this is not because i'm argentinian but i would pick up romero why because he just felt incredibly fast man you know how some people play right backs and full backs at center back because the center backs are kind of kind of dead this year in fifa unless you have like 90 pace or unless you're like moments ferdinand but in on all honesty uh, I did not have a problem with Cristian Romero's defending at all. I know the composure is a little bit lower than the bridge, but aside from that, they match up perfectly. They're basically the same type of player, but what puts them over the top is, again, the agility and balance on the Romero card. It just makes him feel incredibly faster than he normally is. So that's why I would give the nod to the Cristian Romero, but the bridge is just 0.5 below romero that's why romero got a 9 out of 10 the bridge got an 8.5 out of 10 but anyways i will conclude today's review hopefully helped you out in the setting whether you want to get this card or not and you enjoyed this review before i let you go i just want to say thank you so much for your support on instagram and youtube lately i have been killing it with the support and i love seeing that guys please take a second out of your day like this video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully you enjoyed all these reviews this is leo i bid you goodbye and good night